Hello everyone, hello grade 6, I am teacher Joshua and welcome to our math class. In today's video, we will be discussing the activity 1, 2, and 3 of our quarter 4 week 1 topic, relationship of volumes of the solid figures. Warning, if you haven't watched the video of this topic, you better watch it first before you proceed in answering this activity sheet. For activity 1, I want you to open your activity sheet in mathematics at page 1. The activity is entitled, What's My Face? Direction, Draw and Smiley Face on Space Provided if the Statement is True. But if the statement is false or not true, then draw a sad face on the space provided. Let's have an example for number 1. Volume is the amount of space inside a solid figure. Is the statement true or false? The answer is... Very good! A smiley face. For activity number 2 on page 2, which is entitled, Know My Parts. We will just write the dimension of the solid figures on the space provided. Let's have an example. For number one, the height is 14 inches and the radius is 5 inches. In finding the volume of this cone, we use the formula volume is equal to pi times radius squared times height divided by 3. Excellent! And for activity 3 on page 3 of our activity sheet on math that has a title of Just My Imagination. Using our imagination, let's try to find the volume of the figure by counting all the cubes. Take note that there are cubes behind other cubes. Try to use your imagination to count all the hidden cubes. Let's have an example in number 1. In this layer, we could count 18 cubes. In this second layer, there are, very good, 8 cubes. And for the third layer, we can count, obviously, 4 cubes. So we have a total of 30 cubes. But if we can see, there is an equal amount of cubes behind the layers that we had counted. So let's multiply 30 by 2 to find the total cubes of the whole figures. So 30 times 2 is equal to 60. So the total cubes of this figure is 60. Very good. This is the end of your instruction for your activity on the page 1 to 3 of your activity sheet. I hope you enjoyed the lesson with me. Until next time, good luck.